Well, hello everybody. Today it's Tuesday, it's Testimony Tuesday. And I just wanna say I'm thankful and grateful for everything that God has done in my life. And he, <clears throat> he's brought me quite a ways and without him, I can do nothing. And I just, um, with this COVID-19 and everything, you know, when the world kind of like stopped and, you know, and everybody wasn't sure what was going to happen and concerned and all these fears and the news, you know, talking about the COVID and, and blah, 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 you know, and just everything all at once. You know, some people didn't have a job or, you know, couldn't make ends meet and, but, you know, we have a roof over our head. Um, we have a lot to be thankful for. Um, you know, we're, some of us were able to get the CERB. Uh, some of us were able to still have our jobs, which, you know, is something that we could thank God for. Um, you know, I thank God for truth. I thank God, you know, that I have a roof over my head. You know, that I have a family that loves me. You know, if we look to the positive things, in life and instead of always looking at the negative you know we're gonna get far in life if we're always thinking you know negative thoughts or thinking this and thinking that and you know that's gonna overtake us but you know when the world stopped God didn't stop you know there's still people wanting to get baptized you know maybe we couldn't be in the church together but there was people calling us, wanting to get baptized in Jesus' name. There was people wanting us to pray for them. There was people, you know, hungry and had a desire and wanted to read the Word of God. You know, all these things, you know, that we could be thankful and grateful for. You know, that God did not stop. His Spirit did not stop moving. You know, we were having church services online that did not stop God from having church with us, you know, his spirit moving within the churches and people could still feel his spirit. People could still worship and thank him and praise him. And, <clears throat> you know, when we were having um, the preaching go forth and we were in the living room and, you know, just after the service, we can feel the presence of God in our house. And, you know, we are just praying and worshiping and, you know, crying and, you know, the Spirit of God was moving. And I, it's Testimony Tuesday, and I just want to say, you know what, I'm thankful. I'm grateful that we have a God that He's not going to leave us. He's not going to stop moving in our life. You know, as long as we keep that oil, keep that Holy Ghost burning, keep that fire, keep that desire burning in our heart. You know what? God is not going to stop us or stop, you know, being for us. And you know what? I just encourage you today. Keep living for God. Keep serving God. Keep having that desire and that fire. You know, some of us may not have church still, but, you know, God is still going to move. God still is still going to have his way. There's still people going to get baptized in Jesus name. There's still people going to get filled with the Holy Ghost and, you know, reading the Bible, having that desire, uh, living for God. And I just want to keep living for God. I want to keep serving God. I've been in church for 23 years and you know what? I don't want to stop living for God now, you know, because he's coming soon. We don't know when he's coming church. We don't know when God is coming. We don't know the hour, the minute, but you know what? He's coming soon and we need to be ready. It's like the preaching on Sunday. You know, we don't know when God is coming, but we got to get prepared the church is the bride. We need to be ready for when he comes. And I want to be ready. I've come this far. Why give up now? And, you know, this might be a time when people are going to get tested. Where is your faith? Where is your belief? Who do you believe in? What do you believe in? You know, I believe in God. And I don't want to stop serving God. I don't want to stop going to church. Once we start having church, you know, that's going to be awesome. I can't wait to be together with everybody. Um, 
but I just encourage you today, you know, we have a lot to be thankful for. We have a lot to think upon these good things, these, you know, God is real. God is, you know, our faith is in Him. He can uplift us. He can encourage us. And, you know, there's a lot of things out there that want to discourage us, that want to stop us from coming to church, that want to stop us from living for God. But you know what? I'm not going to stop living for God. You know, people can make up their own mind what they, if they want to leave, then, you know, I can't, I can't stop you. I can't stop you, you know, if you want to leave church or if you don't want to serve God anymore. Um, I would love to, but I can't make up your mind for you. I have to make up my own mind. And, and I have a made up mind today that, you know what, I want to serve God. I want to live for God because he's a real awesome God. He's been nothing but good for me and, and my family. I am glad that I have my kids and my husband and, you know, I have God on my side. I'm just, I just, I'm just really happy. Um, you know, <clears throat> I may not have had a lot of work, but I've been keeping myself busy. I've been um refurbishing furniture and uh it's fun like i find you know um things to do and then you know something to be able to you know focus on and i can pray i could you know worship god while i'm doing it and have fun and you know and to me it's encouraging you know to you know have this old piece of furniture that nobody wants and you know it's it's old it's ugly and you know take it away or they throw it in the garbage uh this last piece that i did it was um it was an old brown piece it had doors on it they were quite ugly and the guy wanted to throw it out so my son brought it to me he goes mom i have something for you um i was cleaning out a yard and this guy wants to throw this coffee table away. I want to drop it off. And if you like it, you can have it. So so uh, he brought it by. And you know what? I thought, you know what? This is something I can I could do. I could do something with this. So so uh took me a little while to get to it. But you know what? When I did, I was, had a made up mind that I was going to finish this project. And, and I kind of envisioned what I was going to do to it. And... And, and then, you know, in the process, as I was doing this, I'm like, wow, this is something that, you know, that I really, really am enjoying, that I'm liking to do. And, and I finished it, and the finished product was amazing. It turned out really good. And I want to thank everybody, you know, that helped put their input for the colors, and, you know, it, it really turned out good. And for the encouragement also, you know, that I want to keep doing this because it's something that I like to do, and it's fun and kind of like a hobby too and uh <clears throat> but you know it also made me think about you know this old piece of furniture that nobody wanted and that's just like us when we come to god with this old piece of furniture that nobody wants that we feel like we don't belong but you know what god sees you god chose you and you do belong you do belong with the people of god you do belong in the church and God is going to beautify you. God is going to make you into something beautiful that, you know, that nobody thought that you could have a good life. Nobody thought that, you know what, that you could shine, that you can be bright, that, you know, that you can have a new life. You can have a fresh start. But you know what? When you come to God, you have a new start. You have a fresh start. All things become new. You're washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. You receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. You repent of your old sins. You get washed and clean. All things become new. And I thank God for that. And, you know, doing this piece of furniture, it makes me think a lot about, you know, when I first came to God. You know, I, I was lost, I was miserable, I was depressed, and I was suicidal, I was an alcoholic. But you know what? God chose me. God put Sister Woodruff in my path. And Pastor and Sister Brown were there helping me, supporting me. And I was able to get my grade 12, and I finished, and I graduated. And I got my two years university studies, and I got my certificate in, in business. And you know what? I couldn't do that without God. I know that I probably would have 
I probably would not be here today. And I thank God for truth. I thank God, you know, that he just kept pushing me. He just kept encouraging me. And that I had a pastor and a pastor's wife that loved me and cared about me. And I can call them. And you know what? We're here as well. You know, uh, Pastor Roby from myself, we're here as well for people. You know, we can't force you to call us. We don't know what's going on in your mind. Give us a call, you know, if anything's going on. Like, we'll try our best. And I thank God, you know, that I had a pastor and a pastor's wife that loved me and they cared about me and they would invite me over and, you know, sometimes it was really hard. But you know what? I just kept pressing and kept living for God and you know just kept doing what I could do I had a job and you know I went to school and had a job and went to school and you know what it's been 23 years that I've been serving God and I just love it I wouldn't give it I wouldn't change it for nothing in this world and you know what the world may have stopped from COVID-19 you know things are starting to get back to normal now but you know what? God never stopped. God's spirit keeps moving. He never gives up. He'll never leave us. He'll never forsake us. And you know what? Just keep living for God. Just keep serving God because he's an awesome God. He's real. And I encourage you today. Uh, God bless you all. And can't wait to be with everybody in church. In Jesus' name, amen.